Well, to have a well-managed smart home, you wanna have the right router. You're probably familiar with the traditional style with the antennas. Uh, they've got the wired ethernet ports on the back. These are fantastic. They've got a lot of different types of models out there. If you need to extend the range of the Wi-Fi router, you can get what are called Wi-Fi extenders, also things like power line adapters, and you can also get switches. These are essentially little boxes that have the extra ethernet ports to add more wired devices. A lot of people now are looking at wireless mesh networks. And these are great because they create one seamless network and it's easy to manage. This is from Google. This is their Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh system. And they come in packs of two or three. And it just depends how big of a house that you have. The bigger the house, the more of these pods that you want. If you've got some Wi-Fi dead spots, you can always add one extra of these to kind of smooth it all out. And they're super easy to set up as well. This one uh, gets attached right to your uh, modem from your internet service provider. And then you place these uh, other pod or pods uh, strategically through the house to, to give you that, uh, that coverage. Another thing to look for is the Wi-Fi standard of the router. You might have heard of terms like 802.11b or 802.11ac, kind of, kind of confusing, but you know, the good thing is that they've actually simplified that. So the big standard out there now is what's called Wi-Fi 5. There's also the new Wi-Fi 6 and 6E. And so the bigger the number, the more kind of lanes of traffic, the more bandwidth and also the better speed. You have to look at how many devices that you have hooked up in your smart home. I did uh, an audit of my house and I've got like 50 connected devices. So that's only gonna grow over time when I factor in things like the video doorbells and smart lights and robot vacuums. You kind of get the picture of uh, how, how fast that can actually grow. Uh, another big thing are the bands or the frequencies. So you'll see things like dual band and tri-band routers. So uh, bands uh, and frequencies, uh, for example, like 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Uh, these are the frequencies that everything gets connected on. And it's important to know that a lot of your smart home devices are gonna be working on the 2.4 gigahertz. So you'll wanna make sure that you have a strong router for that. The five gigahertz band is nice because it gives you extra bandwidth, uh, more devices can be connected there and uh, also increased range and speed uh, as well. And uh, with some of the newer standards like the Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, 6E even has an additional new band or frequency called six gigahertz to give you even more traffic uh, control for for your home. So what's the first thing you should do when you're thinking about a router? I would do an audit of the home. How big is it and how many devices do you have now and plan to have over the next several years? That'll determine what type of router that you want and what you'll want to invest in. And again, money well spent, especially when it comes to a smart home.